How you doing, Mike? Good, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm doing great. Uh, we need to start the track. Um, what's your feeling towards road racing? And has it changed over the past couple of years? Well, I don't know why I like road racing so much because I haven't had much success at it, but I really look forward to the, the three road courses we get to do on the schedule because it's just it's fun, it's something different, it changes it up. A lot of times you can see you know, a, a smaller team finish well, kind of like a super speedway race. And uh, if you can just survive these things, man, you'll have a good finish. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I've had, I've run good in them in the k n series and in an ARCA series, but I haven't had a, a real good finish in the Xfinity series yet on the road courses. But we're going to change that this weekend. Okay. Uh, you have a lot of Christian faith in your life. Um, how has that guided you personally and professionally uh, through your NASCAR career? Um, I mean, well, personally, it's just the... You know, it's it's something that's really important to me, and I put God first in every situation. I have a close relationship, and uh, and that leads into my career because that leads into every aspect of my life, from being a husband, to being a father, and um, and also being a driver, and, and um, being able to rally my team together and create a good atmosphere and keep them pumped up and excited. So, um, you know, it's it's definitely that's really important. Do you have any close relationship with drivers like you know Michael McDowell, Trevor Bain, in that regard? Yeah, yeah, I have a, a lot of really good friends, and, and I give them a lot of credit for for me still being here in the sport for you know six years now. It's just uh, the relationships I have. And Michael McDowell was probably the first guy that took me under his wing and just helped me make decisions and, and meet people. And then uh, Justin Allgaier and Trevor and uh, Josh Wise, and, and there's a bunch of them, man. But those that core group right there that I just mentioned uh, really took care of me. We take care of each other. We talk about our struggles, we pray together, our families get together, it's just a great group of guys. Wow, that's great. Um, you've been in Xfinity for five years now, uh, so getting to the Cup Series, um, you've done six starts there, that must have been a huge experience the first time. Yeah, it was, and, and it's frustrating, you know, I mean, everybody wants to make it to, to the Cup Series, but nobody wants to run in the back, multiple laps down, and that's kind of how those races went for me. Um, that's why I'm super pumped to have this Xfinity ride because we are competitive most of the time and get to race hard and we go to the track wanting a top 10 and, and it's a realistic goal but man just uh, I'm just pumped to be racing every week with my Lee Filter Gutter Protection team they're just awesome and they work hard and they believe in me and I believe in them and in those six starts with Charlotte three times is, was that your choice, or was that just how it worked no, out? No, it's just how it worked out. I would get the phone call the week of, of hey, you want to come drive? I'm like, yeah, of yeah. course. You know, I would, I would, I don't sound like I'm really excited about racing cup because I am really excited, but it's not something that I'm pursuing daily. I'm just trying to make the most out of this league filter team this year. But if I got a call to drive a cup car, I'm not going to turn it down. So would you rather be, would you rather be competitive in Xfinity, or be in Sprint Cup and be say, you know? In the high 20s or 30s. I would rather be competitive in the Xfinity series. Okay. It was my choice. Um, uh, even it doesn't even matter how much you get paid. Like you know, you don't even think about that. As long as your bills are paid and, and you get to race, I'd much rather be competitive in the Xfinity series, hoping to get a win, than I would be running around the back in, in the Cup series. Although the Cup series is where we all want to be. But um, when you're out there racing, it doesn't really matter what series you're in. You just want to beat the guys around you. So you got a big opportunity in 2013 at Homestead, uh, Ryan, for Bobby Benton. Um, started second, finished 11th. What was that whole experience like to get that big of an opportunity? Yeah, that was hu that was huge for me, man. That was kind of a make it or break it day. You know, uh, we came up with a lot of sponsorship money to be able to run that car, uh, a high budget race team, and that was pretty much like, let's see if I got it or if I don't. You know, because. Uh, been qualifying around 20th my whole career and just people are saying you need to get in a good car but do you believe it like is it all the cars so when I went there and, and I first lap on the racetrack I didn't really run a great lap and the crew chief's like what's wrong with the car I'm like ah, I don't know it's tight in the center you know and then and I pulled in my pit stall and, and uh, the guys at Toyota handed me a computer and I'm looking for my name and I looked up and I'm a second and so it's just like crazy of how fast some of those race cars are but, um, but we're working towards that here at TriStar and in my Lee Filter car, and we'll get there. Yeah. And TriStar's a big team, it's got a lot of drivers. Uh, how does that aid the team's progress, having that many drivers and that big a team? Um, I mean, there's, you know, I don't really know. 
you know, I've been with TriStar for a couple of years now, and I, and I love Mark and Kathy, and I love the people around it, but I don't know how much the success determines on how many cars we bring. You know, I think we would be just as good uh, of a racing if we had two cars as we are if we had four cars. Um, but the, the more input you have from different drivers, I appreciate it all helps. But I believe the people we have at TriStar um, will make the car go fast no matter how many teams we have racing. And you teamed up with, was it Daystar? Uh, dot com. That was the site. When was that? I think it was a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, 2011. Um, yeah. What was, what was that like? I saw a video with you and Mike McDowell. Um, yeah. In a video. They start. My they start relationship was awesome. It was 2010, 2011, and they did a lot of really cool videos. We did a lot of outreach events. Spoke at a lot of churches, homeless shelters, just a lot of really cool off the track stuff. And they documented all of it, produ produced and created great video content, and. Um, we had a blast that year. Just um, Rachel and Jonathan, the the uh, um, the Lamb family, who just traveled and did videos, and, and it was cool. It was like a, a family uh, event, and, and it brought me to where I am today, man. With a, with a huge sponsor, Leaf Filter Gutter Protection. They're just growing so rapidly, and I can see them taking me all the way to winning races for sure. Now, what do you feel about um? The Moto Racing Outreach. I saw you had a testimony on the, a Christian testimony on the website. Yeah, MRO is like my church. Man. I mean, we we travel every weekend, and I go to MRO Chapel every Saturday or Friday. Mm -hmm. And during the week, we have a, a weekly Bible study through MRO, where our families get together and we hang out. And sometimes we'll go serve the uh, the homeless down downtown Charlotte. Sometimes we just. Uh, dive into the Bible, talk about things we don't understand or things we want to learn more about, or just hang out. So um, MRO is like is my church basically, and, and you know it's a huge part of my life. And, and uh, most of the people in this garage is like. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, who was your favorite driver growing up? Well, I didn't. I didn't start watching NASCAR until 2007, so I was already growing up by then. Um, but I really liked Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, the way they drove, the way they talked, the way they promoted their sponsors, the way they carried themselves and treated the fans. So I've always uh, paid close attention to their interviews and other things. And all that testimony, I saw you started racing at what, 20 years old? You started racing stock cars? Yep, yep, I did. So the last, uh, I'm 30 years old today, so yeah. the last 10 years. Yeah, happy birthday, brother. Thank you. <laughs> the, the last 10 years have gone by fast, and I'm just pumped to still be in the sport and surround myself with a great group of guys, and hopefully we have a, a great day to here, a great day here at Walkinsville. Any more cup plans for the near future, for this year? Or no, no known plans uh -huh. as of right now. Okay, we'll see. We awesome. hope you're the best, man. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, Matt. Very good. I'll give you a pass for your birthday. Okay.